So when we got to San Miguel de Allende, we did what every traveler does when you get to a new city that you're dying to explore. We dumped our bags off at the hotel as quick as we possibly could and ran out into the streets to see what we could find. And, and so when you're walking down the streets, you're perceiving everything that's right in front of you, that's right next to you. You take in the street signs in a different way. And, and so really quickly we realized, you know, we, we felt like we were on these pathways. And so that's where the name for the collection came from, which is Paseo, and it means pathways particular collection for me is that I think there is the opportunity to get creative, to play, to mix and match and make your own design. The trumpet inspiration came from, I think, initially a trumpet vine that we saw when we were outside the factory. Stunning. It was the most vibrant orange, but you know, when you pull one of the little flowers off, it has that exact shape. Also, we have the matchstick, which is a tile that I'm obsessed with. It's a one by six. We went with matchstick for the name because I love fire. I just, there's something I love about fire. So light it up. There's several duos actually within the Paseo series. There's the Path and Round, which, uh, you know, is a, it's a four inch circle that can be used alone with tons of grout. It can be paired with the Path. Um, and then when this pattern gets laid out, you've got these large dots throughout and then the pathways that uh, go right through them. There's also something vintage to me about the Path and Round. It sort of feels like an old pinwheel mosaic, but it's blown up and it's big. So it's sort of a fresh take on that. For me with this collection, one of the things that was super important to me was that people had the option and the opportunity to mix and match between the shapes. So there's a lot of opportunity to play here. I'm so excited about the vintage colors that we're bringing into the Paseo series. They're colors that I felt I couldn't find when I was looking and was envisioning in my mind and to, so it's really special to get to see them, you know, come to fruition. You know, walking through the city, it's a lot is these walls. And so you see the colors of the stucco, the colors of the doors, you know, and then getting these peaks inside of the different vendors, you'll notice, you know, a wall of hand dipped candles that are, you know, this most beautiful kind of candle lit white. And, I, and they're so simple and so pure, but it's so beautiful. And like, I love the idea of, taking that color and being able to bring it into my bathroom or my kitchen backsplash. One that I'm kind of just busting at the seams about with excitement is oxblood. It's a red, but it's got these brown undertones. I think it's very rich, it's very saturated. It can feel masculine, which excites me. Anywhere you want to put it, I'm really good with it. Nectar is this honeyed yellow that also sort of has some amber brown tones mixed in with it and I just there's something fun about yellow you don't see it a lot I think people are maybe afraid to use yellow permanently in their homes but I think that sometimes when we take the greatest risk in our design those end up being our favorite spaces like the city of San Miguel de Allende like they're not playing it safe with color so to see these rich saturated colors that are unafraid and unmistakable in what they are that you know my eye was immediately drawn to some of those things so on this trip to San Miguel de Allende, I got to travel to Dolores, which is where all the tile is being produced. It's where the makers live. And, you know, getting to experience and see the amount of time, effort, energy that is being poured into each tile is kind of mind blowing. I think getting to see the way that the glazes are being created, that the colors are being created, and really the amount of pride that the makers have for putting forward their best. I became so much more aware of my love for this tile that is imperfect. That is to me what makes this tile special. It's what sets it apart. It has character, it has weight, and to me it's what sets it apart. I will never forget the first time I saw Clay Imports tiles and I'd never seen anything like these tiles. I always said growing up, like you know when you meet someone that's made of the same cloth as you and I have felt that way about Clay Imports from the beginning because I just feel that there's an appreciation from them of this idea of bringing something that is well made, that has tons of character and that cares about where it came from. So I think when you're looking for 100% satisfaction, it's all about expectations. And I think with this tile, you have to expect variation in the tiles. It is going to be there. It is what makes it special. It is the thing in the room that has charm and character. These tiles are perfectly imperfect.